I want people to, to go back to work as, as, as carefully as possible. I think we need, it's very important that people should be, um, you know, going back to work if they can now. I think everybody's sort of taken the stay at home if, if, if you can. I think we should now sort of say, well, go back to work if you can, because I think it's very important that people should, should try to lead, lead their lives more normally. Uh, and, um, you know, I want to see more people being able, feeling confident to use the, the shops, use the restaurants, get back into work, but only if we all follow the guidance. But face coverings, yes, we increasingly think that uh, we've got to be very insistent on, you know, in places, in confined places, where you're meeting people that you don't normally come into contact with, transport, shops, wear a face covering. You know, the, the balance of scientific opinion seems to have shifted in favor of, more in favor of them than, than it was, and, and we're very keen a, 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 to, to follow that. Um, but, you know, the, to get back to what I was saying, you know, to Justin and, and Bethany and, and, and others, the, the future for the country has got to be a world where we're managing the, the virus so effectively with local lockdowns, with test and trace, uh, that we, we don't need, ultimately, and this is still some way off, we don't need to have some of these social distancing measures that make life so difficult for, for us all, and you know, whether on public transport or in, uh, in businesses uh, and so on. So I, I do want to, to get back to a world where the British people feel able to shake hands again. You know, it's how we, it's how we, we operate. I, I, you know, and, and, and it's, that's, that's what we're aiming for.